Here we are at Rapid TCT in LA. Fiberon and Panchroma are two of the things you're going to be learning about. Uh, and I'm here with, of course, Nick from Polymaker. How are we doing? Uh, Very good. Can I, can, I, can I get a leg up here? Better. Okay, let's keep, keep, keep rolling. Yeah. So Fiberon and Panchroma are two of the things we're going to be learning about at the Polymaker stand today. Nick, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm feeling much taller <laughs> right now. <laughs> you um, are. Let's get straight on into this one. You are watching a master at work. So Nick, tell us a little bit more about Panchroma. <laughs> Nick, just stand here, stand here. Listen, you just, no, turn around, turn around. Turn around, listen, uh, we're doing an interview. Okay. 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 So tell us more about what Panchroma is all about. That's the real thing, no? It's the real thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, tell us more about the launch of Panchroma, first of all. Yes, absolutely. So as you can see, we launched a product family called Panchroma by Polymaker. And the idea behind Panchroma is to hold all the colorful filaments that we have been handling. On top of that, we are launching more than 34 new products and four color ranges, celestial, metallic, translucent, and another one. <laughs> <laughs> another one. 34 new colors, including uh, a whole range of celestial, neon, metallic, and translucent color. Awesome. Why? What's the, what's the seismic change here? Why, why have you moved into this zone of these two different brands? Yeah, so the idea was to have a more focused concept around functionality, application, and aesthetic. Uh, so right now, Polymaker, as you know, had a lot of Polylite PLA different color series. Yeah. And then we had the PLA Pro, and then we had some carbon fiber engineering materials, etc. And uh, it started to become a little bit harder for people to get an idea of what the portfolio is. Got it. Right? Uh, what do I need? How do I find it? So you all know that 3D printing is functional or aesthetic, yeah. usually. So that's the reason why we launched Penchroma on one side for the aesthetic side and Fibron on the other side for the... Uh, for the more industrial side. So exactly. the, the idea will be then, so taking some of the industrial filaments that you guys do, and do very, very well, and moving those into kind of a more industrial space. Specialized, and, exactly. Okay, and, and the color, basically the color filaments. So we're talking PLA, PETG, ASA. Only PLA at the moment, okay. and a brand new formula. Oh, that right. That is called Penchroma at the moment. You know Polyterra was yeah, yeah. a brand new formula. Uh, we are taking a different step. It's not uh, following the, the Polyterra step. It's a completely new formula that we believe is the future of 3D printing. Really? So, yes. well, and the reasons behind that, I'm guessing, is speed? Fast speed, the uh, uh, temperature range, right. printing temperature range, overhang, bringing. So we, we took all the things that people that are only interested in aesthetic care about, yep. which is printing quality and get the part fast, and redesign a completely new uh, formula for it. Brilliant. That's really interesting because obviously, as 3D printing is now seemingly getting faster, um, you know, I did look on a on a packet of Polymaker uh, PLA the other day, and the ranges of speed there. Obviously, we're surpassing those speed ranges now. Absolutely. So, this, so you're really coming into play. I think you might be the first one to really come into play with fast, speedy. So we're talking about things like uh, lower melt points and stuff like that. Now. Yeah. So actually, we actually changed the way we're talking about printing speed. Right. If you take our new spool, the printing speed is now up to 300 meter per second. Yeah. So we don't have like a 30 to 60 meter per second or a 60 to 80. We try to find the uh, maximum volumetric speed on common use printer. Got it. And that's how we define the printing speed. That's amazing. So big changes here at Polymaker regarding Panchroma, yes. which absolutely looks amazing. Uh, and the booth is amazing, by the way. So, you know, congratulations. This is insane. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Big shout out to uh, Traxman for, uh, yeah. for building this. A absolutely <laughs> brilliant. I saw him at Murph and Traxman's mum as well. Hi, Traxman's yes. mum. Uh, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Let's talk about Fibron. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, so Fibron, and obviously we spoke a little bit, uh, maybe a couple of months ago about the differences between these two sub-brands within Polymaker. Yes. This is again more kind of focused on the industrial side. This is kind of elements around things that you want to know, PA12, you want to know the bending strength, the heat strength, all kind of different core kind of elements that maybe an engineer might want to know. They, yeah, they, and, exactly. And it's, it looks cool. Like, it looks like it looks even, professional I just, I, just picked, I just picked up the box and I was like, 
you know what I mean? That, that <laughs> looks, that does look the business. So like the color ranges on the Panchroma, this is different again. Yes. And I guess that is the market. This is kind of industrial, business to business, um, kind of elements, I guess, is, is really where that's at. Is that, is that really the focus? Yeah, yeah. So the idea was, uh, you can think about, for example, TDS. Yeah. You can imagine when everyone was under the Polymaker portfolio, we had to do a TDS for Starlight PLA as well as PS6CF, right. right? And every time we had to develop all this data for all these filaments. But people don't need data for, uh, let's say, glowing the dark. They don't need like the HDT, yeah. right? So what we are able to do now that we have more focused uh, product family is to develop the data that people need. When we were on the Penchroma side, we were talking about TD, we were talking about hex code, we were talking about color consistency. And when we are in Fabon, we're talking about a much deeper TDS, understanding of chemical resistance, physical, property of the material, thermal, chemical properties, etc. As you can see on the, on the wall right now, we have HDT and Bendy modulus. We believe that these two properties kind of define a little bit where you would put it on the spectrum from ultra high performance, high performance and general engineering. Yeah. Uh, so usually ultra performance, you have an HDT that is above 250 degrees C and like a modulus like roughly four to five uh, gigapascal. Yeah. And then in between you have the high performance and then the general engineering. So you can see how, how deep now we can go in, uh, in like the polymer science and the technical data and technical explanation behind this product. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's, it, it blows my mind a little bit because even when I interviewed Luke a few, maybe two years ago, when we were talking about all the data is already there, you could just got to dig around for it a little yes. bit more, especially mm. with some of the industrial things and clumping all this stuff together um, and now separating it really makes sense to me. So where did these ideas come from in order to get to where you are on, on now? Was it market led from consumers or was it something internally in, within Polymaker where structure needed to change? Mm. So it's always a symbiosis between the market direction and where we believe the market should drive to. Right. And as you have seen in the last uh, five years, Polymaker has undergone a uh, multiple transition, right? We had the uh, 2018 when we introduced the uh, seven product family, Polylite, Polymax, Polydissolve, Polymite, etc. And then uh, one that we were a bit more famous for was the transition to sustainability, yep. uh, where we changed the, all the schools so to carbon school, we introduced yeah. Polyterra. Yep. Yep. And nowadays it's no different. We are believing in a future in 3D printing. The customers have talked to us on, we need more colors, but we also need more functionality. Sure. And we wanted to have uh, entities that could focus on these major co uh, customer needs that was aesthetic and functionality. We have Polymaker that is now focusing on application-based. So you take an application, whether it's cosplay, whether it's a particular jig, uh, it's very, uh, very niche. Yeah. And then we develop a particular materials for it. Fibron is uh, focusing on developing performance materials, right? And then the industry will use them for uh, their particular need. And, uh, and Penchroma is, uh, is for aesthetic and finishes. Got you it. can think about a Etsy store, for example, for Penchroma. That's like perfect, right? For uh, answering the customer need. And then you can think about um, uh, manufacturers that are printing jigs and fixture and they need like super rigid materials, high modulus, high heat resistance, they have Fibron. And you can think about uh, cosplayers that need a very specific sendable filaments for their props, then they have Polymaker. Got it. I've noticed there's a def racer here. Oh, really? Well. I didn't yeah. see that. Fiber on def racer that looks amazing. Now, one thing that did strike me, Nick, is that all of the colors seem to be black or gray. Yes. Is that, is that the range of color? Or because I guess that's less important. Yes. So, uh, right now it is. We have actually Bob at the back that always advocates for. Engineers also love colors. Yes. So the idea here is that we focus on material performance. <laughs> However, we actually custom color a lot of these uh, products, but they are not in the standard por uh, portfolio. But yeah, there is application that requires both functionality and aesthetic. Uh, the idea of fiber and Penchroma is the message we're giving to the market that we are good at colors, we are good at functionality, and we can put them together. Okay, so when does this all go live? So uh, we are announcing the concept today and the products will be available in the US on July 25th July and will 25th. be available okay. in Europe in uh, Formnex and the rest of the world towards the uh, end of the year. Amazing. So I guess the message here is going to be Polymaker, the same great material, but even better. You like I like that? that. Thanks, Nick. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it, man. You are watching a master work.
Hear ye, hear ye. Polymaker launches new product lines of polymers. Do you need something? Oh, sorry, dude. I was just ringing these bells. Oh, okay. Uh, my bad. 